Hey everyone, welcome back to Biomedical Engineers TV. Today, we're exploring one of the most revolutionary tools in modern surgery, the Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System. Who invented it? How does it work? And why are hospitals all over the world using it? Let's break it all down. Let's look into the beginning of the Da Vinci Surgical System. The Da Vinci Surgical System was developed by Intuitive Surgical, a US-based company, and it received FDA approval in 2000. But it actually started in the 1980s as a Department of Defense project designed to allow surgeons to operate remotely on soldiers in battlefield conditions. Intuitive later transformed this military concept into a tool for civilian hospitals. The name Da Vinci obviously honors Leonardo Da Vinci, who not only designed early robotic devices, but also studied human anatomy extensively. So, how does it work? The Da Vinci system enhances a surgeon's capabilities by combining robotic precision with human control. And here's the key point. The robot doesn't operate on its own. It's completely controlled by the surgeon who sits at a special console and manipulates instruments inside the patient's body. The surgeon's hand movements are translated into smaller, more precise movements by robotic arms. It also offers a magnified, high-definition 3D view, which improves visibility and accuracy. Let's look into the components of the Da Vinci system. Surgeon Console The Surgeon Console is the control center of the Da Vinci surgical system. It's where the surgeon sits and operates the robot during a procedure. While it may look like a high-tech video game station, it's actually a highly advanced medical interface that gives the surgeon complete control over the robotic arms. Key Features of the Surgeon Console The first key feature is 3D High Definition Vision System. The console provides a magnified 3D view of the surgical area, up to 10 times magnification. This gives the surgeon better depth perception and detail than traditional 2D monitors. The second key feature is Master Controllers, or the hand controls. The surgeon uses finger and wrist movements on ergonomic hand controllers called Master Controllers. These movements are translated into precise micro-movements of the robotic instruments inside the patient's body. The third key feature is tremor elimination and motion scaling. The system filters out any natural hand tremors, ensuring steady instrument movements. It also allows motion scaling, meaning a large hand movement can be scaled down to a tiny movement for delicate procedures. The surgeon uses foot pedals to control various functions, such as switching between camera and instrument control, energy activation, or camera focus. The console is designed for comfort and ergonomics, reducing fatigue during long procedures. Patient Side Cart This part holds the robotic arms, which are attached to surgical instruments. The arms carry out the surgeon's commands with extreme accuracy. Vision System A high-definition camera gives a magnified 3D view of the surgical field, better than what the human eye could normally see. Let's look into the application of the Da Vinci system. The Da Vinci system is used across many surgical specialties. Here are some of its main applications. Urology, especially for prostate removal. Gynecology, such as hysterectomies. General surgery, like hernia repairs and gallbladder removal. Cardiac surgery, including valve repairs. Colorectal surgery, for treating cancers or blockages. Because it's minimally invasive, patients usually experience less pain, smaller scars, lower infection risk, and quicker recovery. Robotic surgery is still evolving. New versions of the Da Vinci system are becoming smarter, more compact, and even more precise. Some systems are even exploring AI-assisted capabilities, improved imaging, and remote surgery which could make high-quality surgical care more accessible worldwide. And that's your crash course on the Da Vinci robotic surgical system from its origins to how it's transforming operating rooms today. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the tech that's shaping our world. I'll see you guys in the next video.